Hey, who's that? Oh, that's Simon. He was a junkie, but he cleaned up, and Danny got him a job at a burger joint, and he's our biggest success story. Hey, what about me? Simon is our biggest success story. Simon, how you been feeling lately? Well, I miss the drugs. <laughs> but on the upside, no, I just miss the drugs. Oh, hey, Simon, listen, man. Good news. Uh, I got you that life insurance policy with your daughter named as beneficiary. Oh, uh, thanks, Norm. Yeah. Hey, maybe she'll forgive you now for ODing in the bathroom at her ballet recital that time. <laughs> Hey, hey, Jenny, how you doing? Hey, honey. Now, listen, um, I only have a few minutes for lunch because i got to change for my next job. Jenny, I didn't know you worked at the Statue of Liberty. Oh, no, I don't. I work at Lady Liberty Appliances. I actually work for these two Iraqi guys who hate America. They keep referring to the Statue of Liberty as the big green bitch with the book. <laughs> oh, my God, you look so hot. You look almost as hot as the actual Statue of Liberty. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Except there's no comparison, really, because she has 400-pound breast. <laughs> oh, that looks like you two are in love. What's wrong with you? Why don't you get a hobby or a VCR or something? I think it's great, Norm. Yeah, it actually it is a good time in my life right now, man. I, I'm in a grown-up relationship, and I got great friends and everything. And also, uh, that thing that I thought was cancer just turned out to be the, the mark from a felt-tip pen. Uh, Norm, you've got a Benny Forrest on line two? Oh, I gotta take that. Hello? Oh, yeah, I'll hold. Who's Benny Forrest? Oh, Benny Forrest is this sports marketing guy, and he's gonna buy my image and then use it to endorse products and, and do PSAs and stuff like that, and then I'll have enough money to pay for Jenny's vet school, and also, and also, I'm not on hold anymore, so I better talk to him. I can hear him right now. Hello, Benny? <laughs> yes, Benny. Yes, absolutely. Excellent! You oh. sealed the deal! Good stuff! <laughs> well, let me tell you something. You won't be sorry, sir. <laughs> How much did you get? 20 big ones. All right! Go! $20,000? No, 20 big ones. Singles. $20. I got... Sorry. Yeah. No. Apparently now they got kicked out of hockey for tax evasion. I was never very good in the sport in the first place. All of a sudden, I'm not flavor of the month. That's too bad, Norm. I know. I need that money, you know. Jenny's uh, vet school costs $9,000. Well, there must be some other way you could make the money. Nah, I don't know how to do anything. All I know how to do is play hockey. How do other ex-hockey players make money after they retire? Well, the, the ones that, uh, you know, are lucky enough to have saved enough to, to drink themselves to death, of course, they just do that. The other ones, I don't know what they do. I guess they, like, coach high school, stuff like that. Hey, you can coach. Huh? My neighbor pays, like, 50 bucks an hour for a kid to have a private baseball coach. Yeah, maybe I could teach kids, you know? I am better than almost every child in the world at hockey. <laughs> You know, if you had five kids, that's $250 an hour. $250 an hour? Ooh, that's classy dough, Lori. That's hooker money. <laughs> Too bad that you're not as smart as you thought you were in the first place. Too bad that you had to get caught. That's not like you to lose face. So sad that you're not as smart as you thought you were. New public service posters are out. Ah, uh, herpes, that's gross. <laughs> oh, hey, do you have any more of those uh, posters that, uh, that tell ladies how to feel themselves up in the bathtub there? Hey, aren't you teaching your first hockey lesson tonight? Oh, my God, that's right. I, I gotta get going. Man, I gotta tell you, I feel a little nervous about meeting the oh, parents yeah, tonight. you'll be all right. You just let them know how much you love kids and that you're not doing it just for the money. Yeah, right, right. But I won't overdo it, because I don't want a bunch of poor kids there either, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, Simon came in from a break uh, from the burger place, and I'd like to get your opinion on something. If, sure. if I could, okay, thank you. He's dead. Uh, yeah, that was my oh, take my on it. Oh, my God, the poor man. Just getting his life together with the job and the life insurance. Oh, the life insurance. That was the only thing he had to leave his daughter. I was going to kick in on Friday. Couldn't oh. we wait until then to report his death? That's crazy. It's against the law. And besides, where would we put the body? Okay, here's the deal. 
You take Simon, and I got the next dead guy. <laughs> hey, where's Norm? Oh, he's at the rink. He said he needed some cones for those hockey lessons. Luckily, these were lined up around some big hole on the 59th Street Bridge. <laughs> sold the rights to his image, and look what they did with it. Well, at least it's a nice picture. <laughs> Those posters are going to be up all over the city. I'm just saying, you can see why the kids would go for them, huh? <laughs> Hi, uh, well, while the kids are warming up, uh, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Coach Henderson, and I'll be working with your boys. <laughs> now, I want you, uh, I want you all to know that working closely with children is what I live for. Uh, actually, with the enjoyment I'll be getting from your kids, I should be paying you. Guys like you make me want to puke. Come on, honey. Well, he makes a good point. $100 an hour is a, a mite steep. However, may I remind you that your kids will remember what I give them for the rest of their lives. <laughs> Jeez, what a bunch of grouches. <laughs> well, Norm, there goes the coaching business, huh? Fitz, you bastard! Yeah. I'm the one who hired that guy to buy your likeness for $20, and now I own it forever. <laughs> Wait a minute. I have a feeling this is more than a coincidence. I think this is somehow related to me stealing your bride at the altar. Yeah. <laughs> Norm, I'm a rich and powerful man. Did you really think I'd just forget that you stole my fiance? Yeah, I was hoping, yeah. <laughs> man, what are you trying to do? You know you're not going to get Jenny back. I don't want her back. You don't? No. Besides, I'm having way too much fun destroying your life. Ah, so now it all makes sense. It's been you undermining me at every turn. Ha! It's been you that's made my life an unbearable hell for these last 25 years. No, actually, I just started last week. Oh, just last week? Yeah. I think we got all the posters on the east side. Man, I'm telling you, man, this, this Fitzgerald character is trying to destroy me. He's done everything. He turned off the phone, he canceled my credit cards, and I don't know how he did this, but he reprinted my high school yearbook and he replaced my picture with a childhood picture of myself on the toilet. <laughs> you know what hurts the most? My dad sold him that picture. Uh, bad news, we got a message from the life insurance company because of Simon's drug past. They want to examine him again. Oh, no, this isn't good. Any halfway decent doctor is going to know he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> we got to think of something. Where are the keys to the food bank freezer? I gave them to Denby. He's doing inventory down there. What? That's where I hid Simon's body. <laughs> I don't think he's sad. There's, there's, a dead, there's a dead homeless person in the, in the food bank freezer. Uh, what it is, is it's the city trying to save money. They're now feeding the homeless to each other. It's a little... <laughs> Simon is the dead guy in the freezer. We just wanted to hide him for a few days until his life insurance took effect, and then he can give all of his money to his daughter. What, what are you saying? You mean that the, his daughter gets nothing of his body turns no, up now? No, not a dime. Well, that doesn't seem fair, but, but why didn't you come to me sooner? It seems like everyone else in your little gang is in on this. Uh, well, sir, uh, we see you as a pencil-necked uh, bureaucratic weasel who'd rat us out. <laughs> Did I say no offense? <laughs> You guys have got to see this. Look at what Fitz did now. I taped it off the TV last night. Coming soon to Broadway, Mickey Rooney as Norm Henderson in If the World is So Big, Why Am I So Small Down There? Are you there, God? It's me, Norm. One quick question and I'll leave you alone. Come on, damn it. Pick up the phone. Listen, big guy, I ain't one who begs. 
and I got a problem between my legs. <laughs> the world is so big. Why am I so small down there? You know, I don't mind if he attacks me, but in most cases, my penis cannot defend itself. Norm! Hey, Jenny, what's going on? Kevin bought the appliance store and had the Iraqi guys fire me. He ruined my credit rating, and he hired a midget to follow me around misbehaving so I look like a bad parent. Did the midget say anything about my penis? God, landlady, you scared me there. I thought you were a grizzly bear. <laughs> grizzly bears do not wear mink coats. I don't think you got my joke. It's the... <laughs> I came to tell you, Fitz bought your building. I'm working for him now. He's the one who bought me the fur. So everything in this apartment now belongs to Kevin. Oh, yeah? <laughs> everything belongs to Kevin now, huh? Well, does this picture belong to Kevin? Ha! Look at that. Does all this belong to Kevin? Uh, look, Kevin will be happy with this, won't he? <laughs> what about this TV, huh? Does that belong to Kevin? Huh? Does that belong to Kevin? Uh, no, uh, all that broken crap is still yours. <laughs> I meant like the refrigerator, the stove, you know, stuff that generally comes with an apartment. <laughs> warmed him up for you. Hello, Norm. Wow, this place is not that bad. After I throw you out, I might let my dog's brother move in here. <laughs> well, I'm glad you came here, Fitz, because I'm getting tired of you giving crap to me and Jenny all the time, you know? And I think it's time that, that you stop or else I'll go public with that thing I know about you. What thing? I think you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> That thing I know about you, that, that secret thing? What are you talking about? It has to do with, uh, with, uh, with sex. Uh-huh. Yeah. It has to do with, uh, with you. You got nothing. <laughs> well, that's where you're wrong, Fitz. I have all day. Does it have anything to do with your mother? <laughs> Let's cut to the chase. I'm not gonna stop till I've destroyed your friends, your family, everyone you hold dear. You're not gonna keep trying to hurt Jenny, are you? Well, now that I see how much it bothers you, yeah, I think I will. You're not gonna start hurting Mr. Denby, are you? <laughs> Norm, I'm incredibly rich, and I'm gonna do whatever I want, and there's nothing you can do about it. In fact, just last week, my company's baked goods division purchased your mother's likeness. Here, I want you to have a box of ugly face cookies. <laughs> face cookies. She was an ugly broad. <laughs> oh, hey guys, thanks for coming. What's up, did you talk to Kevin? Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, I figured out most of how to deal with it, but I need your guys' help on, on one little piece. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, that's the one little piece. Man, <laughs> this is kidnapping. Oh, see, you're helping already. I didn't know it was kidnapping. <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you what, you seem good at this. Why don't you be group leader? Group leader of what? Excellent group leader question. <laughs> so, so what's our plan? What do we do? Norm, what were you thinking? Uh, knocking this guy out is not going to solve your problem. Look, this guy's powerful, you know? What was I supposed to do? Just, just sit back while he destroyed the lives of the people I love? Absolutely. <laughs> Am I on the wrong side here? I wasn't listening. You, uh, come on, come here. Listen. I didn't want to say this out there in case Fitz wakes up, but you, you gotta think of something fast or you're gonna go to jail. Well, the guy's already humiliated me so much, you know. All New York thinks I'm a small penis pedophile. I mean, you know, I got regular pedophiles laughing at me. 
And how much more could this guy want? Okay, look, the whole reason this started in the first place was because you stole Jenny from him. But he doesn't even want Jenny. No, I know, but he doesn't want you to have her either. So how, okay, we get Jenny over here, and we have her tell Fitz how much he loves you, and no matter what he does to you, she'll never leave you. That's beautiful. There's so much dark meat on a turkey leg. Why do chickens got to be so damn stingy? <laughs> That's a good idea. What about this? This is this is better. What if I get Jenny over here, we pretend to have a big fight and break up, and then Fitz maybe will leave us yes. alone? Yes, all right. I think that's probably a better idea. Now, your phones are shut off, so we go to get Artie to go get her. Artie, did you hear the plan? <laughs> of course I heard the plan. All right, because we just want to make sure that you didn't think the plan was mm-mm good turkey. <laughs> now, go, come on, get Hey, does the trick where you put a sleeping person's hand in a cup of warm water really work? If it doesn't, we can just throw it right on his crotch. You won't know the difference. <laughs> oh, they're here. Oh, my God, he's still knocked out. Yeah, well, we waited to wake him up until you came. So you know the plan, right? Yeah, yeah, I just hope it works. All right, ready? Here we go. Come on. Here we are. There we go. Come on. God, what the hell's going on? Kevin, look, I, I came over because I thought we could talk and just get to the root of this, you know? Could you guys just give us some privacy, please? Fine. We won't hear anything through the archway of silence. <laughs> so, what's our backup if the plan doesn't work? No, the plan is going to work. As long as they keep the fight really realistic, he'll think that they broke up. That's not the plan. I told her the plan was for her to say she loves him no matter what. Idiot! <laughs> Norm is going to be attacking her so they can have a fight and break up. Okay, somebody's got to go out there and stop this before it's too late. You can do it, Lori. Not going to go do it. You screwed it up. You go do it. Go on. Fine, fine. I'll tell him. <clears throat> hey, how you guys doing? All right? Good to see you. Okay. <laughs> So, look, Fitz, I think it's time we put our cards on the table here. Yeah, you know what, Kevin? You just have to understand that you can't do anything. Hey, 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 why don't you let the boys talk, all right? <laughs> now, uh, you know, uh, the thing I don't understand there, Kevin, is, you know, Jenny's fine and everything, but you're a rich guy. You could get models. <laughs> Absolutely, why not? <laughs> <laughs> or even, you know, just pretty girls. <laughs> Sure, sure, but you know, it's not like I'm a dog or anything. No, no, you're decent, but I'm saying, you know, <laughs> he could get pretty girls who are smart as well. Norm, can we talk in private, please? Uh, I bet you don't miss this, huh, Kevin? Yappity, yappity, yappity. <laughs> Honey, you don't want to do that because Kevin's going to think that you don't love me. Uh, hey, I got an idea. Why don't you not tell me what to do? What? Because enough trouble. Why don't you go in the bedroom and uh, do some sit-ups or something, huh? <laughs> Big man, huh? But last night it was, I'm scared. I had a gay dream about Danny. <laughs> what, what, what is it exactly that you want from me, Norm? Oh, I don't know. Uh, maybe some uh, movement in bed would be nice once in a while. Okay, you know what? I'm getting my things and I'm leaving. Okay. Well, don't forget your uh, huge collection of Mardi Gras beads, whore. <laughs> oh, oh, my God, what have I done? Well, Norm, it seems like there's nothing left in your life to ruin, so uh, I'm going to hit the road. Look, Norm, you know, let's just slow things down a bit. I think we both said some things that we probably... You are regret. a fat pig! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did it again, huh? <laughs> All right. All right, he's gone. Yes, yes, we won! <laughs> I can't believe it. Hey, and Jenny was so great, wasn't she? What about that crazy thing she said about me having that gay dream about Danny, too? Ha! That was so untrue! <laughs> she has quite an imagination, that girl. Listen, Norm, come on. We, we, we have to tell you something really important, Norm. Hey, Jenny, that was so great, man. You were so convincing. I thought you were really angry, you know? Even now, I can see some in your eyes. It's, like, really frightening. Are you saying that none of the things that you said were true? You didn't know? No, I just made them up so, so Fitz would think we broke up and he'd leave. Well, Artie didn't tell me that. Oh, no, oh, my you, God. you thought I was mad at you, huh? Oh, I love you. Oh, I love you. <laughs> hey, hey, guys, let's go out and celebrate, huh? Okay. I'm buying drinks. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, what was I wearing in your dream? <laughs> Hey, 
You had a hat, just a hat. Well, Simon, you seem to be in pretty good shape for a man who shot heroin for 15 years. Well, uh, even when I was on the junk, I always tried to exercise and eat right. Everything seems to check out okay. I'll put this through. Your insurance should go into effect on Monday. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Mr. Stepney, that was a wonderful thing you did. Yeah, because of you, you know, Simon's daughter's gonna be okay. Oh, gee, I feel just like I'm part of the gang. <laughs> so, what do you wanna do? You wanna uh, get some pizza, have a beer? Uh, hello? <laughs> 